Now let's consider the Shizu's neck. The neck is well set on the shoulders. It should be of sufficient length to allow the characteristic high head carriage of the breed, as this is. This neck appears too short to permit the desired high head carriage. Remember that an overall well-balanced appearance is of the utmost importance in judging this breed. This correct neck blends smoothly into the shoulders which are well angulated, well laid back, and which fit smoothly into the body. The forelegs are straight, medium in bone, and muscular. They are set under the chest with the elbows set close to the body. Pasterns are strong and perpendicular to the ground. The feet should be firm, well padded, and point straight ahead like this. Dew claws may be removed. Note that the rib cage reaches to just below the elbow and that the distance from withers to elbow is a little greater than that from elbow to foot pads. From the front, note that the chest is deep and broad without being barrel chested. The forelegs are straight and set well apart with elbows close to the body. The Shizu's body should be short coupled and sturdy. The top line is level and there is good spring of rib. Remember that the Shizu is slightly longer than tall, not barrel chested or slab sided. This dog is too long in loin. Dogs that are too short-backed or too leggy are also to be faulted. These body proportions are correct. The top line is level and firm, leading to the desired flat croup and high set tail. The tail is heavily plumed. It is carried in a gentle curve over the center of the back, with the plume falling to either side. This youngster has good proportions and a level top line, but is somewhat low in tail set. A tail which curls too tightly is undesirable, as is a tail which curves too loosely or lies too flat. Now let's look at the hindquarters. These are correct. The angulation is in balance with the angulation of the forequarters. The legs are well boned and muscular. The stifles are bent and the hocks angulated and perpendicular to the ground. They are to be in balance with the forequarters and therefore provide the desirable and correct level top line. This dog is too straight in the rear. Overangulation is also to be faulted. As seen from the rear, these hindquarters are correct. See how the legs are not too close together. They are straight and in line with the forelegs. The rear feet are firm, similar to the forefeet, well padded and point straight ahead. Dew claws, if any, may be removed. 